gonna draw a zebra. Yeah, what does the word zebra start with? Z. Yeah, Z. And what does the Z sound like? Z. <laughs> We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your crayons and some paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> we're using our black crayon to draw with first, and we're first gonna write the letter Z before we draw the zebra. So let's start up here, and we're gonna draw it up in the top left corner of our paper so that we have room for the body. I'm gonna draw a line across like this, so we can start here and then draw it over to there. And then we're gonna draw a diagonal line coming down. And then, oh, you could even go a little bit further. There you go. And then we're gonna draw a line going across again. There's the letter Z, good job, give me five. <laughs> now we get to turn our letter Z into a zebra. So first, let's draw the head. We're gonna draw a short line down right here. And you could go a little bit further too. And then we're gonna draw a line connecting in. Yes. Then we're gonna draw the neck coming down here. So we can drop from there down to there. Yeah, and then let's extend this part out further for the body. And then we're gonna draw two short lines coming down for the body. Oh, I love how big your body is going to be. And then we're gonna draw a line across. What shape is that? A rectangle. Yeah, a rectangle. And this kind of looks like a rectangle too, a weird one. And then this shape right here looks like a triangle. Yeah. Now let's draw the legs. We're gonna draw one leg right here down. So we draw it down to here. And then we're gonna draw a diagonal line this way. Yes. And then we're gonna draw a leg coming out to the front. There you go. And a line down. We're gonna draw our zebra running because they're really fast. Yeah. Now we're gonna draw the back leg. We're gonna draw a diagonal line coming this way. And then we're gonna draw it going forward. Now we need one more back leg. We're gonna draw it coming out a little further like this and then down. So we draw it right here coming out and then down. Yeah, our zebra looks like it's running. I think this looks really cool. Yeah. And we could leave the legs just like this to keep it a little easier, but let's make the legs look thicker. So we're gonna start up here in the front and we're gonna draw another line just like the first one right next to it. So we're gonna come here and then down. So start here, there you go, and then down. And then we can connect the bottom. There's our first leg. Okay, now the next leg, we're gonna draw another line that looks just like it. We'll start here, down, and then out. And then we'll connect the bottom. Then let's draw the back leg. We'll do the same thing, make it look thicker. Yeah, and then we're gonna connect the bottom. And then the same thing with the last leg. And then connect the bottom. Okay, let's also add a tail and then at the very end of the tail, let's draw the hair, and we can color in that shape at the end. Okay, we also need to add hair on the back of the neck. Let's draw a short line out, and then let's draw another short line down here, and then connect those two short lines together. What are we missing on top of our zebra's head? Ears. Yeah, ears. Let's draw an upside down V shape. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw another one right next to it. Let's also draw the eyes, or just one eye, a big circle. And then we can also draw a smile and a nostril. Oh, I like that your mouth is open. It's like, ah, yay! <laughs> it's having fun, <laughs> jumping. You can color it in and also add a nostril. I'm going to color in the zebra's eye. You could color it in solid, or leave a little white circle inside for the highlight. Olivia, we did it. We finished our zebras. Wait a minute. They just look like horses. Yes. What are we missing? We just need the lines. The lines or the stripes, right? Yeah. Okay, let's start up here and let's draw stripes down the hair. Now I'm gonna make them a little thicker so I'm going back over it a couple times. Yes, and then we're gonna draw stripes going down the neck. Yeah, I like making the stripes a little thicker. 
Now let's draw stripes down the body. We're gonna draw them going this way. So we drew the stripes on the neck going this way. Now we're drawing them going up and down. Go back over it. And if we're going too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah. <laughs> pause the video. Yeah, if we're making our stripes too fast, you can pause the video. Oh, I love your stripes. Okay, now we need to add stripes on the legs. I'm just gonna draw two stripes. And then we're gonna draw two stripes on this leg. Yes, and then two stripes on the back legs too. What else are we missing on our zebra's legs? The hoofs. The hooves, yeah, or the shoes, we call them, or feet. I'm gonna draw a line and then color in the bottom part. So it's black. And then we're gonna do the same thing. On each leg, just repeat the same step. There we go, on the back ones. We did it. Oh, let's switch to our pink crayon next. I'm gonna color in this ear. But this one I'm going to leave white since it's the other side of the ear. And we could also add pink cheeks. Or you could leave the pink cheeks off. <laughs> That's an awesome pink cheek. Now let's switch to our yellow crayon. What are we using the yellow crayon for? The grass. The grass, yeah. Let's draw lines like this on the bottom of our paper for the ground and the grass that our zebra is eating and running through. Olivia, give me five. We did it. We finished our zebras and they turned out perfect. I especially love yours. I like yours too. Oh, thanks. And I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. That's okay because the most important thing is to have fun and practice. Yes, to have fun and practice. I especially love that we drew what letter first? Z. A Z because the word zebra starts with the letter Z. Z. And we hope you had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing a zebra. Wait a minute, are there any more letters in the alphabet? No. That's the last one, right? No. Z? Yes. Yeah. You gotta tell our art friends they did a good job. You did the best job ever. Yes, you did. You did the best job ever. We love drawing with you and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.